Okay. Uh, now it's it's the it's the change of a magnetic field with time that is the electric field. It doesn't generate the field. It is. There's an equal sign there, and one thing that can be used to gain edification or at least a different way of thinking about things to give you a new perspective is to treat the equal sign not as not as two uh, two things just being linked by some invisible chain, but it's an identity. A changing magnetic field is an electric field. That's how radio waves propagate. A changing electric field is a magnetic field. And as both change, they induce the other. And that's why they go. And this is a little hard to see. Let me turn this off again. So here's our purple trace. And I'll turn the brightness up. So you can see that narrow spike. Now this is the electric field on the, prime, or on the secondary side. So here we have the electric field or the voltage on that wire being very slightly negative. Here we're at 200 volts of division. So the seven or eight volts or whatever we've got right now um, doesn't look like much. When the MOSFETs turn off, we get, I don't know, two, four, six, two, four, six, I don't know, 700 volts-ish on that impulse. Just as the change of a magnetic field is the electric field, the time integral of the electric field is the magnetic field. And integral and derivative are sort of fancy terms for very simple things. The derivative, or the change, that's all it is. It's just the rate of change. The integral is just like the, you know that old calculator that like you use on the desk and every time you press the big gnarly plus button it goes <laughs> and the little paper comes out? It's just an adding machine, right? That's integral. Everything you add, I don't care if it's positive or negative, every quantity just sums with all the quantities entered before. This oscilloscope is basically a computer, so we can do that. And this red line is the sum of all of the present quantity and all preceding quantities. So we can see that when this voltage here is very slightly negative, the line is going down. Those little negative numbers are accumulating. And when the voltage here goes big positive, well, it goes up quick because we're adding positive numbers in, in big amounts. And then it goes slightly negative and we go back down. Well, that defines the magnetic field. So the magnetic field on the output here is a sawtooth wave. It's a real clean sawtooth wave. 